Hey everyone, welcome again to my channel. Uh, today I'm taking you with me to a two event weekend. Um, that was way back in May. I say way back in May because as I'm filming this, it's almost uh, middle September. So yeah, didn't have much time the past few months to um, film voiceovers, but here we are. Um, in this video, I'll be taking you with me to the event that was on Saturday. And in the next video, I will be taking you to the event that was on Sunday. Um, both were local events um, with a bit of a different profile, uh, but I'll tell you more about that in a few seconds. Um, first of all, if you're new to my channel, hi, welcome to Quill Scene. My name is Megan. If you like things that have to do with reading, with writing, uh, with Wicca, with Harry Potter, with Marvel, uh, with DC, with anything geeky really, then you're in the right place. Make sure to click on the magical subscribe button and don't forget to hit that bell because on that way you'll never miss a video of me again. But yeah, let's go to our first local event. So uh, as I said, I'm taking you with me to a weekend in May where we had two local events um, and the one on Saturday was a very special one because that was actually a uh, creative market um, at Herberg het Stanske. Um, and Herberg het Stanske is actually a uh, new initiative here in my village. And it's kind of like, um, in, in Dutch, it's called a, a buurtzorghuis. Um, translated to English, it's a, I wrote it down because otherwise, <laughs> a neighborhood care house. And basically it's um, meant to bring uh, the people, the neighbors together. Um, also a place, uh, it has a lot, like a little cafe where uh, you can drink something where they um, make homemade things like brownies and cupcakes and, and pies and stuff like that. So there's also a little snack. Um, it's also right across from the church. So it's mostly also open when uh, on Sundays uh, after church so that people can uh, visit um, and drink something, eat something. They have a lovely garden, um, but they also do um, community projects uh, like in their garden. They work with uh, Nature Point, Natuurpunt. Um, they have like a little garden with wildflowers. They have uh, a garden with all kinds of berries. And also now they're, I think, busy with a community garden uh, for fruits and vegetables. Um, way back in their garden, there is like this little meadow where they have um, goats and chickens. Um, they also have uh, a project because it's it's run by a uh, VZW, um, which is yeah I don't know how you call it in English actually it's it's kind of a non profitable group um, that you know rolls out projects for the community and one of their biggest projects is their project called Sharpa and uh, Sharpa is basically the project that they um, use to um, guide young people, uh, usually teenagers who have trouble at home, who have trouble at school. Um, and they actually guide them through counseling um, so that they can keep going to school, that they can keep their grades up so that they can graduate and that they have, again, a perspective on their future. Next to, as I said there, the um, uh, het Stanske has like a beautiful garden. A small cafe but also they have a small uh, store um, and um, Riet who runs uh, Het Stanske she um, decided that she wanted to use the little store as a place to showcase local artists um, so she um, was looking around the neighborhood literally um, to see what kind of creative talent we had um, and she um, contacted the people who do ceramics in our neighborhood, who uh, paint, who draw, um, who make jewelry. And of course, she contacted me for my books. Um, so in this little store, I have like an entire shelf for me <laughs> where uh, my books now are presented, along with uh, a few of the crafts I make with my mom, which was very fun. Um, but as I said, uh, the uh, event that we're going to um, was on the uh, 6th of May, which was a Saturday. 
and it was actually their official opening. Um, they were already open, but like low key open uh, because Reed actually wanted to do the official opening earlier. Um, but then uh, the weather wasn't nice, or there there was there was always something that you know um, stopped it from happening. And then eventually she said, you know, the sixth of May, I don't care what happens. That will be the official opening with a creative market. Um, and um, we invite the people, uh, the creative people that are displayed in the store, um, if they want to join us um, with a little like marketplace with tents outside in the garden. Um, and then we have our official opening that way. Um, so the market itself was from 11 till uh, 18 hours. Uh, so um, 11 a.m., 6 p.m. for the people who use that time, uh, way of saying time. Um, and uh, it was very fun because, again, it's in my neighborhood. It was for me, I think, 10 minute drive. So it was very relaxed. I could like wake up at 10 and still be on time. Um, uh, there were not all people were who were present at, uh, who are like showcased at their uh, the store were there, um, but I was there with my mom. Um, two of the ceramic artists were there. Um, the woman who makes beautiful, beautiful macrame um, jewelry was there. Um, there was also so, the someone who. Um, uh, the beekeeper was there um, they had of course their honey with them but also candles made from bee wax and beauty pro products like lip balms and stuff like that um, there was uh, someone else there I don't think I think that was about it uh, there was also someone who shared the uh, tent space with one of the ceramics ceramic dealers um, who made jewelry from wood and then also um, someone who made jewelry and attributes aside from ceramic, because um, that's a business uh, here in, in uh, Gladbeek where I live um, called Eisenhardt. And they uh, combine um, the woman of, of uh, the couple makes ceramics and the man is a smith. So he makes like uh, jewelry and accessories in iron. And he had like an open fire, as you will see in the clips, where he would um, work on metal life. So that was very cool. Um, of course, there was uh, an open bar. Well, an open bar, not really. There was a bar where you could buy drinks. Um, there was also, uh, you could buy ice cream, um, pie, I think, um, all sorts of, I think even quiche, stuff like that, you know, uh, a little bite and stuff like that.
the thing that um, I found most charming about the whole uh, creative market is that um, uh, Nature Point um, gifted uh, Herbert Jetstanske uh, two wild rabbits um, to bring, you know, some a bit of wildlife. And uh, they were actually very well behaved. You can, of course, you can't like pet them and, and uh, pick them up and stuff like that because it are wild rabbits. But it's not like they are shy. They come like in two, three feet from you. Um, well, meters, not feet. Um, and they hop around in the garden and uh, they are, well, it's not, trained isn't really the word, but they are smart enough to, you know, stay in the garden and not go on the street uh, where they could be hit by a car. Um, so they are smart enough to stay just, you know, on their territorium. But um, of course, during the market, um, the garden was buzzing with life because the garden was where the boots were uh, from the artist, where the bar was, where there was a bouncing house for the kids, where there was like a big tent with tables where people could sit to drink, uh, to enjoy their drink or their, their ice cream or whatever. And of course there were a lot of kids and uh, when little kids see pets being dog, cat or cute little rabbits, they of course want to play with it and, and uh, chase after it, try to pet it, stuff like that. Um, so the bunnies weren't that chill <laughs> as they wanted to, as they were used to, uh, because their you know, home was invaded by people they didn't know. Um, luckily, um, our tent was like on a small uh, piece, uh, a patch of, uh, patch of grass. Um, where um, that was at the side, there was like a big, yeah, hedge um, where people nor children could pass through, but the bunnies could. Um, and our tent was like to the front of the patch of grass. So behind us, there was still like a decent gap of free grass where the bunnies could chill. Um, so they trusted uh, my mom and me enough so that they would come lay behind our uh, tent to um, sleep, to take a nap, to chill, to um, gnaw on some um, flowers and grass and stuff like that. Um, of course, there were still some kids who spotted the bunnies behind our tent and who tried to, you know, pass aside uh, beside us but then we stopped them because of course we wanted to give the bunnies a little break um but yeah we became the uh, bunny keepers um to make sure that um yeah they they had you know enjoyed the creative market too even though it wasn't maybe it was a bit of stress for them but still uh, that was my favorite part actually of of the um market because I love animals, especially, you know, bunnies and stuff like that. So, yeah, so that was basically my, um, yeah, look back to the creative market. I had a lot of fun. Um, I love the bunnies again. Um, my mom did a bit of shopping. She bought like a uh, tapas bowl with one of the ceramic artists. I can't show you it because it's in use for the moment. And she also got with the beekeeper a fresh pot of honey along with one of their homemade lip balms with bee wax um, because during the winter months I use a lot of lip balm um, so she got me that as a little gift um, I really enjoyed the vibe of the creative market it was very chill we had uh, luckily almost no rain aside from the 10 minute drip moment uh, but that was very fun um, very good also <laughs> because then our tent you know wasn't wet and we didn't have to put it wet in the car especially since the next day we had to you know take our tent again uh to another event in the neighborhood um so yeah i think it was a good opening a fun opening of Herberget Stansk and i hope that uh, maybe next year we do something again like this because um i really loved to be in their garden and to see how you know the community came together so that was very very fun all that's left to say then is thank you guys so so much for watching if you like this video please give it a little thumbs up or leave, or leave a little uh, comment down below it helps me more than you know and hopefully i see you guys soon for another on the go video because um, the next video i'll be filming and normally also posting will be the event i'm going to 
on Sunday. So see you then. Bye.